Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I decided to do a full face of Rare Beauty. I don't think I have done this video before, and I have tried every single product out. So I figured it would be like a really good, helpful video to show you guys like maybe what products you should buy and maybe the ones you shouldn't. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. I have so many products for you guys. These are all the products that I have. Actually, it's not even all of them, but um, yeah, I'm excited. I've never actually done a full face of Rare Beauty, so this video might be kind of long, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Let's start out with some primer. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so for primer today, we're going to go in with this one. This is called the Pore Diffusing Primer. Um, this is actually really nice. It is a pore diffusing primer, but it's almost like a almost like a gel-like consistency. It looks like it would be silicone-y, but it's not, and it's actually really comfortable. I feel like sometimes pore uh, diffusing primers or like smoothing primers tend to be more like thick, be not good for dry skin, but this one's actually really nice because I do think it does a really good job at covering the pores, but it feels nice. It almost feels like a thicker moisturizer, and so you can put this all over the face and it'll just smooth your whole face out. It's a really nice finish on the skin. It's like extremely smooth. It almost feels hydrating, but it's not greasy. Mattified my skin, but it doesn't feel drying whatsoever, and it's also not drying. So this is what the primer looks like. I know it's kind of hard to see what a primer looks like, but it's a really nice base. Okay, so for foundation, uh, first I'd like to say that the Rare Beauty, what is this called, the foundation, is one of my favorite foundations of all time. They also have a skin tint. I do like this skin tint, but it's like really glowy, which I know everybody likes. I prefer something just a little bit more satin, you know, not too, too glowy. But I saw someone on TikTok mix both of these, and I've never done that, and I figured what better time to do it than now. Right now, my shade is 280N, and this one's in the shade 26W. Just remember, we are matching the neck. Not that it's that much different, but it is a little bit darker. The thing about this foundation, in my opinion, is is less is more so um, usually I don't apply much of this and because we are gonna mix it here let's do like one 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 usually I apply just a little bit more foundation but now I'm going to apply maybe a couple dots of this so this one comes in a squeezy tube and this is what it looks like it's pretty runny I think I'm just going to dot it and with my fingers, I'm going to mix them both first before I blend it out with a brush. I've never done this before, but I'm very excited about it because, uh, like I mentioned, it looked really nice on TikTok. So far, it's looking really, really pretty. Um, that actually looks really, really nice. It obviously added a little bit of glow to the foundation, but it's not as glowy as the tinted moisturizer usually is. This looks extremely skin-like. It gave me a light to medium coverage. Usually the foundation is like medium to full and the tinted moisturizer is light to medium. So it's like a nice medium coverage. And I think it looks really nice. Like I mentioned, doesn't this look like skin? Um, so far I am really, really liking this combo. So if you do have both, don't be afraid to mix them. Look really, really nice. And of course with that primer, it looks super smooth. Alrighty, so moving on to cream bronzer. Um, I do have two different shades. So these are called the bronzer sticks. I have the shade Happy Soul, and I also have the shade Always Sunny. This one for me is like definitely a contour, but I think for like lighter skin tone, it'll be a nice like neutral bronzer. So I'm gonna use the shade Always Sunny. And usually I don't always apply it straight to my face but with these products like the, you will see how easy they blend out this is one of like the only bronzer sticks that i like trust myself drawing like this on my face it's interesting because when you apply it it feels like very like velvety like it applies very easily but it feels like a velvety almost like a matte cream bronzer that's not dry not gonna lie, I don't know why I don't use these more often. To be honest, I barely like reach for it. And now that I'm using it for the first time in a long time, like this is blending out so easily. It's super smooth, it looks really nice, it doesn't look patchy. I know that this is a fan fave, I just don't know why I haven't, 
actually used it in a while. This is really nice. I think it also would work really nicely for a lot of skin types because it's not greasy, but it's not drying. Like, it's really, really nice. So to conceal the eyes, first let's start out with an eye brightener because you guys know the newest product of the newest collection from Rare Beauty is actually this as well as the highlighters. So this is the under eye brightener and I do have the shade light medium. Now, I love this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. If you guys watch my channel a lot, you probably are sick of me uh, talking about it, but it does come with a metal tip applicator, which is actually really nice because you don't go overboard with the product I mean even though it's a metal tip it actually does apply a really good amount and obviously the applicator doesn't soak it up so because it is metal you can kind of roll it around on your under eyes to depuff. it's super nice and cooling it feels hydrating without feeling greasy it's also very brightening without looking heavy like you can easily get away with just wearing this by itself you don't need concealer and it's such a nice like no makeup makeup looks. Let's go ahead and just use the Rare Beauty little concealer brush. And I'm just gonna tap it out. And like I mentioned, it just looks so beautiful. It does brighten. It like really camouflages the under eye darkness and the bags and it feels nice. It's not heavy. Like, do you see how that looks? And that is what that looks like. Obviously, it's not going to give you a ton of coverage, but like I mentioned, see how like awake I look? And this product without any makeup underneath looks so natural. It almost looks like an eye cream. And so you can wear this by itself. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't dislike this concealer, but the times that I've tried it, I wasn't like obsessed with it. So I'm excited to try it again. Maybe it'll be like the cream bronzer where I just start to love it again. So again, this is the concealer and I do have the shade 260N. Um, something cool about it is that it does have like a different type of applicator. It has like a flat kind of like triangular doe foot. And so maybe it's kind of like the foundation to where if you apply too much, it just doesn't look as good. So I'm going to go in with only that many dots. I'm first going to do the same thing that I did with the eye brightener. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with that little concealer brush and I'll do the rest with the sponge. I've just never been like wowed by it but it is pretty it's just not my favorite it's a very like natural and hydrating concealer um so i understand why people do like it for more natural days but i will say the foundation does turn into like a full coverage if you wanted to that's why i don't like pairing them together but i guess today we're going for like a little bit of a lighter look so far so that is what the concealer looks like if you do have drier under eyes and you don't want that full full coverage or the heaviness i do think you guys would like it so rare beauty doesn't have a setting powder so i'm going to go ahead and set my uh, under eyes with my little Charlotte Tilbury powder, and then we can move on to some blush. It, I think it looks pretty nice on camera. It's just that in person, I don't know, for me personally, I just don't think that it just, it's just not my favorite, but I do think it's hydrating, more natural looking, and uh, you know, I don't think it's bad. I just, it's just not my favorite. And usually with Rare Beauty products, I'm pretty obsessed with their products. So that's kind of what happened. So now let's move on to blush. So I do have pretty much all the blushes. I do have these little cream ones. Why don't we use the liquid ones first and then these? I have these and then I also have other ones. I'm kind of deciding, should we use like a purpley blush? This is Encourage. This is Truth. Ooh, that's pretty. First, let's apply this one and then maybe apply some of this on top. I'm gonna be applying Encourage and I believe this one is like not the matte version, it's like uh, the, the like creamy version. So I'm just gonna blend that out with a brush. I haven't used these in a while, but I really do like them. Um, they're extremely pigmented and yeah, see how this is like the dewy kind? They do have some with matte finishes. Look how dewy that is, geez. Okay, let's go ahead and apply two more dots on the other cheek and some on the nose. Let's go ahead and add just a little bit of happy just to make it like a little pinkier. I don't know if that's gonna make much of a difference, but like, we're here, why not? Oh, it definitely will make a difference. Why did I feel like because it was such a tiny like sample size that it wouldn't like pack the punch when it's literally the same freaking formula? Woo! Okay. Um, I forgot how like pigmented and like 
great these blushes are and I kind of brought it down a little bit too much I'm just gonna use some Huda Beauty powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face I always set my foundation and I'm also going to set some of this blush clean it up a little bit so that we don't look too too crazy obviously we're looking a little bit more normal now Let's let this bake and do the brows. So for the brows, I decided to go for the brow powder. As you guys can see, I already do have some eyebrow gel on. So this is called their Shape and Fill Duo. Now, believe it or not, I ended up getting the shade Auburn because um, to me, this just seemed better for me that I have like brown hair and I don't like my brows to be too, too dark or too cool tone. And so for me, this was like perfect. So this is the shade Auburn. It does come with a little brush like this in little package. So I'm gonna go in with the darker shade and fill in from the outer to inner. And I actually do like this product. I think that the powders are really nice. They're very pigmented, like this will last you a really long time. And it applied really nice. It lasted me the whole day. And I also like that it comes with two shades as well as a mirror, as well as a brush. Sometimes like these products that have like a little brush and things like that maybe are not like as useful as I think they're gonna be, but this is actually useful and this brush is actually a nice brush and it's a good size. It's not like tiny to where you can't even touch it and the product itself is nice. So I am actually really liking this, but like I said, for me personally, I prefer the shade Auburn. So let's move on to eyeshadow. So I do have the palettes and I also have the liquid eyeshadows so I believe these palettes I haven't used them in a while but I believe they're all shimmer yeah so they are shimmer palettes which they are really really pretty but for me personally like I need to have a matte shade so let's go ahead and use the cream shadow and then add like a, sh a shimmer shade on top of this if you guys want to see full reviews of really any product um, I'm gonna tag all my rare beauty videos down below if I can I have full in-depth reviews of all of these I do have this shade that I think might be the best one this one's like a little too rosy so this one is in the shade nearly neutral again it's a liquid eyeshadow so let's go ahead and apply this I'm just gonna apply it everywhere I'm just going to dot it like this and pat it out and these are actually really really nice they're pretty they are uh, more of like a matte satin formula they're really easy to use and they work well so if you're looking for an easy like shadow to use these are really pretty and they blend out really really easily all the shades are really pretty um, I believe all the shades are really like nude pinky tone shades but they look beautiful on the eye so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye as well and then also kind of figure out how to put it on my lower lash line as well the fact that I decided to add it with my finger but as you can see very versatile like I mentioned if you're just looking for a liquid eyeshadow that is easy to use these are really pretty and they blend out really easily what shimmer shade should we use I kind of want to go in very light-handed I feel like this would be really really fun let me go ahead and use this purple one so this one is in the magnetic spirit eyeshadow palette I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade as an inner corner highlight and then this one tap it out throughout the lid kind of just want to get that color like I did mention um, if you want to see these like in action action definitely go check out the videos in the description that's pretty I feel like that's giving us some like fairy vibes but like natural fairy vibes 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 sorry guys okay and like I mentioned we're gonna take this like pale gold shade I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the inner corner such a beautiful shade and let me go ahead and add this under the brow bone why not so for eyeliner I actually really do like the eyeliner so this is called I believe it's called the perfect strokes matte liquid liner so my favorite type of liquid liner is a brush tip and this is a really nice brush tip as you guys can see it goes to a very fine point and you guys will see how pigmented and beautiful this product really is so I'm gonna go ahead and do a very light wing uh, we'll see how big it gets depending on how good I am at this but um, I really do like this product and I think it's really easy to use 
Whew, I was not breathing there. This is about as even as I'm gonna get them, but as you guys can see, it is pigmented, it is matte black. Not only is the tip super fine, but the product gets all the way to that tip, so you really can use that tip to create very, very thin strokes. Some products don't actually have that much pigment or that much ink all the way through the brush, and that's why you have to go over it a couple times, but this, as you guys can see, perfect strokes. It says it in the name. Okay guys, so I went ahead and curled my lashes because the next product is going to be the mascara. I have the mascara I bought a really long time ago. Um, I also have a new one just in case this one's too dry, but let's just see. So this one is called the, I believe it's called like the Universal Mascara. Um, I do have it in the shade black and this is what it looks like. Now I feel like this brush, this wand doesn't seem like too exciting, but I have to say this is one of those mascaras that I do think, I believe it's called the Universal Strokes Mascara. All I have to say is that I do think this is fairly universal. It does everything. It gives volume, length, and separation. And I do think every single person that I've seen try it, I've seen them love it. I do think it's like an all-in-one, just like good mascara with a really good formula. Um, I'm actually shocked because this is the old mascara that I have, like extremely old, uh, probably from when it first launched and like it's giving it's still given like i can't believe it's doing all this with how dry it is very nice mascara as you guys can see i will say this is not like the most lengthening mascara but i do think it gives you such like a good amount of length and volume and separation and as you guys can see it doesn't get clumpy overall i think this is a really good mascara that would work for a lot of people the proof is in the pudding it looks really really beautiful let's go ahead and use one of these little cream blushes so these are called the uh, melting blush so they are cream blushes instead of liquid let's go ahead and use this one so this is in the shade nearly berry now this formula is really beautiful the problem is just the longevity like it looks really nice it applies really nice i like the shades i like the packaging um the formula just doesn't last very long so if you just prefer something more natural than like the liquid ones uh i think you would like this but just know that um your blush might fade throughout the day but you know maybe you can use this as a cream and top it off with a powder to make it last longer but the formula itself aside from longevity i do think it's really pretty um i've also had these blushes literally since they came out and they're still like creamy and they're not dried out and as you can see they look really really pretty so um do what you want with that information okay so moving on to highlighter i do have the powder ones so again these are the powder highlighters and I have the shade Exhilarate. I do have all the shades. Again, if you guys want to see a full review, check out the description down below. But today we're going to use this like pretty champagne. I'm going to go in with the little Rare Beauty highlighter brush and I'm going to go in, literally look, with the lightest hand just to add some glow. See that? Uh, these highlighters are for the ones that just want a ton, a ton of reflection. Or if you want something natural, and you want this to last for the rest of your life, then you can also get it. See how pretty that is? It's adding that sheen to my face. They do have a pretty nice shade range, and you know, they're starting to make me kind of fall back in love with highlighter. Um, I don't really use that much highlighter anymore, but they are really pretty. Very, very thin formula, but very, very reflective. Why don't we go ahead and set the face and then finish off with the lips. So for setting spray, I actually did go ahead and buy this for the video and I did get the, um, not the sample size, but the travel size. So this is the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 setting spray so this is like a dewy hydrating setting mist this is the second time i've tried it let me go ahead and spray it you do have to shake it the mist is extremely fine you almost don't even feel it this is really really nice i don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of brought the glow back into my skin but it doesn't look greasy like it looks very healthy if you do have more oily skin go back in with some powder but it just brought everything back to life this would also be a nice powder to spray throughout your makeup routine but it just brings the makeup back to life and it just looks very nice and healthy okay so let's finish it off with the lips so i actually have 
I've tried all of their lip products at this point. I don't have their lip balms. I cannot find them, but I do. I have tried them and I love them. Those lip balms are so nice. Literally feel like a Laneige lip balm, but like in a tube. I love them. I also have all of their lip liners as well as their bullet lipsticks and the lip souffle. Why don't we go ahead and do a mixture of the lipsticks and the lip souffle. I'm grabbing all my lip liners. Um, my favorite shade from Rare Beauty is the shade Wise. Found it. Let me tell you guys the tea. Let me take off my lip gloss. Um, they're very pigmented. They're very creamy. They're easy to apply. They are retractable. They just don't have like the longevity that um, another lip liner would have. Like these are not like like transfer proof like these are the ones that you would wear when you want something creamy and comfortable um and you want a pretty shade so again i'm going to use the shade wise and i'm going to go ahead and overline my lips one of those lip liners that you could use as a lip color itself because it is so creamy and pigmented hmm i do think we should do a little bit of a lighter lipstick to go with like our fairy look that this lip liner might ruin so I do love Wise in the lipstick form, but I think today, let's do the shade Fun. Fun is a really pretty shade as well. It's a little bit more, like it has a little bit more of like that reddish tone. And let's apply that. And I think this is gonna make a really pretty combination. It doesn't really go with the look though. It's like extremely warm. These lipsticks are also the same. Like they're very creamy very comfortable, very pigmented, nice and matte, but not drying. But again, they don't have the longevity. So if you're just looking for like a really beautiful formula of a lipstick that's extremely comfortable and you don't need it to last all day long and you can reapply, these are really, really pretty. Just because we're trying all the products out, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Lip Souffle in the shade Elevate and maybe make this just a little bit more neutral. Mm -mm -mm. And this is also really nice. It is gonna be a kind of like a liquid lipstick formula, but it's very like moussey and matte, but comfortable. Again, really, really nice, and I really, really do like it. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of all the products on my face. Um, if I had to choose my favorite products from the whole uh, you know, brand, I think the foundation is my favorite. Um, this is just one of my go-tos. Truly, if I could pick what I want to see next from Rare Beauty, it would be liquid bronzers. If I could get this formula in a bronzer, especially for a bronzer lover like me, I would love this. And I'm also very excited to see them do powders. I feel like they would do powders beautifully. You know what? Let me know down below what you guys would like to see from Rare Beauty. Let's see if we have like similar ideas or if you guys have like way better ideas than me. I would love to know. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I will link every single product that I use down below for you guys. Thank you so much. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.